cow. <laughs> Such a happy cow, I want to know. Mm. Right, come on, darling. Up, come on. <laughs> My girls, up, push, push. Dad's already got the balls out. And some cows by the look of it. He's letting the first row go. Come on, up, up. Come on, girls. Ah, come on, up, up. Get up, 127. Problem with friendly cows, you can't get them in a damn yard. Come on, get up, push. Come on, shh. Yance, hush, mum. Ah. Ah. Got them eventually. Then Dad's got two bulls out there. <laughs> they must have been in the uh, in the yard, up the rows possibly. Oh, yep, we made it. There he is. Usually there I go. I just got in the pit. Just turn up my apron now. Alright. Uh, he's onto it. He's onto it. And got the bulls out the other way today. Yeah, they were This is our first casualty to our herd test. No, it's not milking well. Didn't milk too well last season either, so. She's off, eh, Dad? Yep. First casualty to the herd test. <laughs> you much? Rather feed cows that are milking than uh, feed cows that are having a holiday. Here. Come on, you. Up. Good girl. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, so we'll put a blue mark on her back. So that's all I. Unfortunate, but it happens, it happens. So blue dot on her back to mark who's she is our cow. And she'll be alright. Right. We've still got Limpy to catch. We caught our lame once a day cow here. She's uh, she'll get better. The feed's just stone bruised. And of course, there's our sales girl there. She is leaving at quarter to nine, and has just gone quarter to eight. So, let's get to it. Hang these up. We've done. Put the wash through. Bomb day today. Tanker will be here at eight o'clock. Little carvies, don't forget the meal. Dallas reminded me yesterday. Oh yeah. Didn't I do it? <laughs> right, I've got my spray PPE, got my jug, there's what we're using, crucial. I've also got to go and get a penetrant or a uh, water uh, wetting agent to help it bind to the plants. So let's go spray out some uh, grass. You wakey little Fergie, here's our pulse penetrant. So the rate we use it at is 100 mils of this and 3 litres of the glyphosate. And that goes in at um, 100 mils for this one per 100 litres and 3 litres of the other one per 100 litres. So 12 litres of glyphosate in that mixture there and 400 mils of pulse penetrant. Okay, let's get this little Fergie going. So what you'll find is the battery is probably a little bit small for her, but... Dang birds. But she starts her enough. Put it right over here for a minute. See? Just a bit, not enough crank. Well, CCA in this, so she's all right, but um, to do with a little bit more juice on the starter.
So with that, we're ready. As we're heading down, we'll get the, our the spray tank to agitate so it'll just start running the mixture through itself, actually mixing it up better than what we can with the hose. And um, we'll go down and spray those first three paddocks. Um, we'll use as much as we need. There's no point uh, missing heaps of the paddock or trying to get it just right. We will do our best to get it just right, but it's better to spray the whole paddock out than uh, not get it done properly. Just turning off the hose with that. Let's go and spray a paddock out. But the crucial there is a 15 litre container. So you'd have seen me put the whole container in. No, I actually emptied out three litres into the jug there and used the rest of it into that container. With that, let's go spray. Hold her up. Oh. With that, we're ready. Maybe it's just one. That's one. You'll be very happy with that. Okay, let's get spraying. So we're doing this paddock, that paddock, and the next one. Three in a row here. Let's get to it. Not too bad, happy with how that went. Usually we try and use about 200 litres to the paddock, or 200 litres per hectare. These paddocks are just over a hectare, about 1.1, 1.2. Very happy with that. There's our 200 litre mark. We were probably about 450, so i have used probably just over 225 litres, which is about right. Not too bad, not too bad. So what we'll usually do is close up the paddock and crisscross the, um, over so that we know that this paddock's been sprayed but we won't have to worry about that because we are going to be ripping tomorrow once we've uh, sorted that out so done one one paddock down two more to go on this race and then we're going to get into the next race and um get to it dad's ready in the digger he's working hard over the other side he's uh cleaning drain banks on that paddock that we um cropped last year that we couldn't actually free grass in the previous year so it's all good right next paddock you can see this paddock's got a lot of golf in it it's got really really hammered in the winter um couldn't do much about it we had to have a sacrifice to the paddock it's what we call it it was needed and it did its job now it's time to regrass it give it some new grass we're going too fast we're just dawdling along <laughs> no rush. And also, when we go slower, it gives us a bit of a pain. Let's see where I've been. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all good. We'll keep going. Half of this paddock is stuck, the other half is willow weed. So you'll see it's quite badly, uh, yeah, quite bad. That's all right. We're not worried about getting too close to the grain, because we do think we're on top. So we, uh, we do top our own maze so we can get nice and uh, we go around by ourselves. Yeah, good enough. It's getting pretty bumpy. Uh, better grab the next jug. Uh, next one. <laughs> Let's go. She's 
fall out nicely. We keep going. Give it uh, three paddocks to go. One little one and two big ones. Scale one. Scale one. We're getting to it, we're getting to it. Right. Let's keep going, it's going very well this morning. Dad is down there working hard with the big ass. So. All right. Quickly got home, got my hat and the headphones. That makes a bit more the pace is wearing out. <laughs> right, all good, let's go. Three paddocks to go. One in a bit of down Willow Lane and two down the other road. That's it, when I've done that, come back, pull up again. Then come back down. Not the plan. See how it goes. You run out just before you finish that. I literally only have one and a half runs to go in this paddock. That's alright, we'll carry on. Then we'll pop it to the next paddock. Then we'll go and reload. Here, yeah, she's all go here. Crop, crop, crop. Maze, maze, maze. Exactly what I wanted to do. Alright. Paddock three done. Let's head down to where Dad is, he's just over there. We're going to go take care of a uh, wood line. Lift it up out of the way and put the spray out. Yeah, it's too bad. We'll go back and refill first. There we go, look at that. Tank number three, last tank. We are ready to go and uh, spray out the last two paddocks. This should do it. This should do it. Dad, I am just uh, pulling the water line over, out of the way. And Dad is digging up the drains there. We had a little bit of fencing here to do here and there. But, whoa! Jeez! That was close! A little bit of fences to fix here and there. Funny. So I've got to disconnect it there. Pull it straight. Because, uh, yeah. And then bring it back up. As long as I get it out of the way, Dad first. I'll turn off the fence. Bring some pliers down. Some wire. Yeah. You want me to bring post? Bring a post? Yeah. Blow and hydraulic hose. That's yeah, alright. I'm going to fix a fence and um, the water line there will take care of it. The plan is to actually roll it up. Fixed up the wire that I broke, just put another bit of wire in there. Bit of a <laughs> different way of doing it, but it works. Right, we're fixed. Just waiting for the uh, digger to get fixed down there. Dougie from Haraki Hydraulics is here to get that sorted. I just got to go and check. Dad said he may have hit a wire, uh, the water line that heads out towards the stock bank through those between those two paddocks. So I'll go have a quick look at that. And if we're all sorted, we're gonna go get back into little Fergie again and go finish off spraying that paddock. Finish off in the big paddock opposite. Back on this one. Yeah.
successful. Little tractor's done a job. Done all the paddocks we want to spray out today. This one I left this middle bit through here because it's quite wet through there. I should have actually gone up and down that end a few more, but that's all right. She's all out of spray now. Ah, yes. Digger's got a small leak. Not oh, big leak. That's why he's here. Get it sorted. Get it done. She's all done her job for today. The digger has got a sprung a limp. But that's all right. And Dad's got a plan. We're going to shift this gateway further down to there because this culvert's collapsed and um, we can't see shroud or anything. So this, gate, this culvert, we're going to put a new gateway down there and then it'll line up with that gateway. Six metres wide. We should still be able to make that turn to get back in here. Awesome. With that, I'll see you all at milking tonight. Good afternoon. There he goes, off to get the cows in. We sent uh, 5,686 litres. So not too bad, not too bad. Right. Shame to see a cow go. She's six years old, so she was in her prime, but she wasn't cutting the mustard. She was, um, wasn't even looking like she was going to do the same production she did last year. So we just had to, had to get rid of her, unfortunately. Well, well, with that, down 254 kilos now. Alright, wash this back. Get the Ooh, she's a beautiful afternoon here. Grass is steaming. Look at the colour of that. Fast day for today, those fellas. They just about got in the row. Whew. Oh, come on, girls. Alright, let's get the milk in. We've got enough in the first row to get going. We just slowly work their way through the crowd. Girls are walking nicely. Hello, ladies. How are we doing? Good girls. Hello, fella. Hey, come on. Come on. Good boy. Sometimes you need the stick. These fellas are actually probably going to go out tomorrow and bring the others, the other two in from the first week. Such a friendly cow. One you, you one. He's a little pet, aren't you? A little pet, like butt scratches. Good girl. All right. Well, let me get in here. I'm holding up traffic. Come on, Nemesis, head over. Hey, right, come on. Come on. Push, push. Come on, girls. Good day, Dad. Yep. Here we got all the paddock sprayed we wanted, and someone blew a hydraulic hose on the digger again. Second time in two months. Yeah, got to be done, though. I mean, it's obviously it was another hose that was about to blow, so yeah. gotta get it sorted. <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. And it was a real hard one to get to. Yep. Yeah, it was. That's why we called him the uh, expert, Haraki Hydraulics. It's all right. Down to a single play, 39. Oh, you're beautiful, you so, so friendly. As you see, we're back down to one pull at night now because uh, look at that. Leaving some meal behind, which means uh, nice and full. Awesome. And we're going to get some good production. Although it's not going to be our peak because uh, they are in calf. We'll be starting to put some of that nutrients before to go towards their little calfies. Perfect. That'll do. Well, one more if you want. Mackenzie cow. Oh, look at that. It's running in there. It is running for her. <laughs> the road's coming in well. Oh, here comes our first one. You think I didn't drop the chain? The chain is dropped. <laughs> Come on, girls. They're coming in slowly. Oh, yes, that shows you how hungry they are, doesn't it? Hello. How are you doing? Oh. Yeah, I'm getting up here, Patrick. Good girl. Perfect. Thank you. For a beautiful day of, is your meal still all along there? For a beautiful day to go and rip some paddocks up, prepare paddocks for rotary hoeing on Wednesday, and also do some digger work in one of the paddocks. So, beauty, we are ready. Let's go lock some cows away. Would you look at that regrowth? Paddock from yesterday morning. It's not quite growing yet, but it will start to. That was paddock from yesterday. 
last night.